Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions in Brown Channel. We are getting solutions to all the solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to visualize your DEM in 3D using an axing, right? But now, we have a digital elevation model here. Um, we want to visualize this our digital elevation model in 3D using axing. First off, you need to ensure that um, your digital elevation model has what a projected CRS. You can rightly see the units or let's say the coordinates here are in meters, right? Good. You can still confirm when you come down to properties. Then under the source, you see what the spatial reference, right? Good. So there's a video on the channel where we have shown you how to what um, project raster. So I haven't done that. You can also convert your raster to team if you want to, but that's actually optional. So now let's open what the accent. Let's launch the accent right from what the app map. Good. So we are now on accent. We can just add data, right? Good. So we have what our data elevation model here. We can do right by changing the color ramp to something more presentable. And then, okay, we can still do the inversion. Good, so we have this. The next thing is for us to add some vertical exaggeration, right? Good, so we come down to properties. And under the properties, we go to, we come down to base heights, right? Good, now, under the base heights, for elevation from surfaces, let's use um, floating on the custom surface. Then the custom exaggeration let's make it um, five okay so you now see that what we had earlier as um, a flat terrain where we couldn't see the river or maybe the water body and then the land you know by it and also the what the other hilly parts perhaps some mountains and all of that so we can now see them visually when we have what the 3D representation have on them applied what that um, vertical exaggeration, right? Good. So we can still decide to increase it to maybe seven or ten as the case may be to still have what a better perspective. So if you have what your water body may be your river channel data, you can rightly overlay on some of these what view patches right good then if you are also familiar with the terrain maybe you know if there are some mountains here or there are actually some very high points and then from the interpretation here we can also see that this area actually has what the highest set of points right good. now um, 3d visualization helps you to provide better simulation and prediction and then it also gives you what a better special um, understanding of the terrain because by looking at it now we can see that yes we have some water bodies around here and even along the water path we can also see some what some eye point right good so we have the color ramp here which um, gives us the high and the low point so between the high and the low point there are actually some points right good. so if you look closely we are going to see that um, along this our bluish um, patch we can see different colors that shows that yes there are other elevation points that are found along the path so basically 3d visualization helps you have um, a better understanding of what of your data and then the surrounding information you have in your data so let's still take it back to zero so that we can see how flat it was and then how we got to the point we are now you can see how flat it is you only see the difference based on what they call up right good so but when we change it to seven or maybe when we increase the value to any other value we now have what a better perspective of what the color their relationship relationship between maybe this high point and the low point and then you know makes it easier for you to see what's happening so thanks for coming to class. Um, we have shown you from ACMA down towards to Axi how to have um, a 3D view of what of your digital elevation model. 
We are going to see you on the next tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.